corporate product production into vehicles of sustainable transformation. And I am happy that we have the chair of the committee responsible for environment here, and that as we work in consolidating and reorganizing the legal framework for us to tap into this big resource that is available for the transformation of our country, I also want to ensure and to ask those in the forest product space, those in the timber space, that there is now an opportunity for us to grow our timber industry space. We have already taken steps as government to make sure that the use of locally available forest resources takes precedence over imported products. It is the reason why we have made the conscious decision that furniture must be manufactured locally and imported furniture will not take precedence over locally manufactured furniture. And to make sure that we exploit our resources in a transparent, effective manner, the old method of allocating forest resources to people in a manner that is not transparent has stopped. Going forward, all public resources in the forest will be tendered for in a transparent, clear manner so that we get value for the resources we have in our forests and also develop capacity for industries to use these resources for the benefit of the country, for us to be able to create jobs around these uh, forest products, and for us to manufacture forest products, including furniture, locally in Kenya, using our own human capital, our own developed resources, and making sure that products that otherwise would have been imported are made from forest products that are available here in Kenya. There is therefore an opportunity for business people to work with the Kenya Forest Service for us to create a robust forest products industry that will power the engines of our transformation. Conservation unites communities by fostering a shared sense of responsibility and pride in safeguarding our heritage. Across Kenya, communities are restoring degraded lands, protecting water resources, and reforesting landscapes. Initiatives in the Abadea Ranges and Mau Forest Complex demonstrate the power of local action in driving accountability and long-term success. Kenya is and aspires to remain compelling proof that economic progress and sustainable forests are not only feasible, but also essential complementary commitments, and that conservation, climate action, and economic transformation must be pursued and achieved in tandem. There is no doubt that this function is a monumental event to our nation's development. It is a commitment on your part that you are going to make significant contribution to our proud legacy of conservation and sustainability, and that we have to strengthen our partnership to give our forests, humanity, and the earth our common home, that is, give it a chance. You have chosen to work in an important field, and I encourage you to grow in it and develop exemplary careers by performing your duties with integrity, professionalism, discipline, and patriotism. I congratulate all of you, all of you, once again, and wish you success as you embark on your careers. May you learn, may you grow, and may you achieve feats that will make you and your families proud for years to come. Let us be and let us be bold in our aim to transform Kenya's future through all we do. Together, let us plant, protect, 
and preserve our forests, demonstrating our commitment to building a greener and much more resilient Kenya. I ask you, as forest officers and managers, as you join the KFS fraternity, believe in yourselves, believe in what you do, and believe in your country. All of us, as the people of Kenya, it is time that we believed in this great country God has given us. It is time that we stopped the negativity. It is time that we stopped believing in the fake news and in the propaganda that is hurting our nation. Because looking at the Kenya Forest Service in the last two years, the transformation is phenomenal. What has been achieved in the last two years, reducing illegal logging and forest criminal activity by 90% is something we should be proud of. The fact that Kenya Forest Service now can raise its own resources because of the transformation and because of the reforms that have been undertaken is something we should celebrate. That is not just happening in the Kenya Forest Service. It is happening in the Kenya Wildlife Service. It is happening in the National Youth Service. It is happening in all our other services. These are the positive elements that make Kenya stand out. And that is why we have earned respect globally. Asanteni sana kwa wazazi. Asanteni sana kwa kufika ili tushereke sherehe hii ya vijana hawa ambao leo watatoka hapa waende wasimamie mambo ya mazingira katika taifa letu la Kenya na kama vile waziri amesema tuko na mpango mkubwa ambayo imeanza sasa vijana elfu kumi tayari wamejumuishwa katika mpango wa climate works